Hi, this review is on the new Loud House movie, A Really Haunted Loud House. So the plot of this movie is, well, this is based on the live action series, The Really Loud House. So in live action, Lincoln Loud and Clyde decide to go trick-or-treating as always, but then they find out at school that there's this new cool kid who wants who is throwing a big Halloween party. So Clyde and Lincoln think they're too cool for it trick-or-treating so they decide to actually go to the party and miss out on all the fun that the loud family is gonna have and they find out that that the mom is giving out toothbrushes instead of candy on halloween and a bunch of kids are furious and they're retaliating against them so all the louds try to defend the house and lincoln's trying to devise a plan to attack the house not knowing it's actually his house to attack the toothbrush people as they refer to it as but they but then he finds out that it's his house so he really tries to make a plan to try and stall everybody and not have his house be attacked you know this movie was surprisingly pretty good if you're wondering i guess I've probably said before, but I do like the show The Loud House. I think it's quite a good show. It's it's really fun. It's cute. It's It has a lot of heart to it. And then I did watch one episode of the live action show, The Really Loud House, and it was pretty awful. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Maybe I just picked a bad episode to start with, but it was pretty awful. Man, if I could unwatch that episode, I could. Jeez, but this movie was way better than that episode. Uh, you probably don't know what episode I'm talking about, and you probably don't want to know. Uh, but this movie was actually not bad. It was actually a lot of fun. It's definitely not as good as the animated No Loud House movie, but for what it was, it actually wasn't that bad. It definitely, in a lot of ways, felt like a Loud House movie. Like, it did... Like, the characters all acted the same. The plot really felt like a Loud House episode. It's about Lincoln, you know, getting into, you know, finding himself trapped in a situation. And he's trying to avoid pressuring himself. And he's trying to stop, trying to get himself out of the situations while his he tries to work it out with his family because he has a big heart to him. So, in some cases, it did feel like a Loud House movie. Although, I don't really get what's the point of making a live-action Loud House show and movie when, like, do kids even care about a live-action Loud House? I'm pretty sure they just want to watch the animated one. Like, I don't mean to pull the animation is just for kids stereotype, but when you have a live-action and an animated Loud House, I'm pretty sure most kids are just going to want to watch the animated one. But, I don't know, maybe, maybe some kids do like the live-action show, maybe I'm just wrong, but... Uh, the acting, like, the kids actually do pretty good. Lots of the times, I mean, yeah, lots of the times when it comes to the characters, they feel more like they're doing impressions of the characters rather than playing the characters. But I guess, you know, they're kids. They're, it's probably their first time acting. And you can't really be a successful actor day one. You can't. It always takes time. But they do still do good. And they at least look like they're having fun. So I do give them that. And... Even the actor who plays the dad, Brian uh, Stepanek, is that his last name? He voices the dad on the show, so that's cool that they, you know, got him back. And he still, he and he fits his role like a glove, even though first he just does the voice, but actually portraying the character, he does it well. And the production values are not super great. They're very tv quality which i guess this is based on a live action sitcom so of course it's not gonna look you know super good but i mean like i guess lots of other nickelodeon live action comedies like even stuff like you know good burger yours mine and ours or playing with fire like they're they don't have big scales but at least you know they're shot and feel cinematic this like i mean this is a paramount plus original movie so i guess that explains why the production values aren't that great. Maybe they just have a small budget, but it's just fun. Like you don't go into this for the, you know, visual aspects and how you don't analyze the cinematic techniques. You're just here to watch the Loud Family on Halloween. That's really all you want. And as someone who likes the Loud House, I actually thought this was a pretty good movie. Maybe the actual show 
is pretty good. Maybe I'll give it another chance because the episode I watched was, like I said. But I might give it a second chance after seeing this because this surprisingly wasn't that bad. So if you're a fan of The Loud House, I'd say give this a watch. It's a lot of fun, and it's definitely a good one to see on Halloween. I mean, although... If you want a, like a better Nickelodeon Halloween movie, I'd suggest just watching Fun Size. That movie is funnier and I more entertaining, and it had better production values than this. But this was good for what it was. It's cute. Like kids would definitely like it. It'll get them in the Halloween spirit. It's it's cute for what it is. It's harmless fluff. It's very much what you want in a Loud House movie. Something likable. Nothing amazing. Just likable. So, yeah. I'll see you later with what other Halloween type movies I got up my sleeve or maybe I won't review a Halloween movie next so so I'll see you later